Hey everyone, how's it going? Pro Tipster Paddy here with Pro Tipster Dan. And uh, a new video for you that we're going to start doing every weekend. This We're going to call this the Weekend Roundup. I suppose a bit of a little crappy alliteration there, sorry. Weekend Roundup. It's not easy to say when you're after your Christmas party. Um, Dan, how's it going? Uh, I liked it after the Christmas party. <laughs> so. um, Pro Tipster Martin, it's chilly vodka. Don't do it. And he's still stuck in Poland as well. So good luck, Martin. Fair, fair do you well on your travels. Look, what did, what did we learn after the weekend then? Um, well, where do we start? Manu Man City, I think, is the one to start. Right. Nice. I think Mourinho's met his match. Um, the, uh, when Man City scored, their tweet was, um, the bus has been, uh, the bus has broken down. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, what a game. Lucas, uh, Romelu Lukaku, two assists for Man City. Well done. Well done. Uh, company, um, as, you know, as I, we said, I was, we were talking about him in our combined 11, and I said that I didn't think he's quite good enough anymore. Yeah. And, um, certainly wasn't good enough for the goal. Yeah. Silva, who actually was fit, and you were right, had a blinding game, but I think the big talking point was the, uh, the battle in the uh, tunnel afterwards. Yeah, Mikel Arteta got a couple of, uh, did he get stitches? He had a bloody, bloodied face anyway. Yeah, he did, yeah. he did. There was supposed to be, uh, it started off with, um, apparently, Mourinho was unhappy that the Man City players weren't showing enough respect because they were playing music afterwards. And yeah, like, music. And like, there was a bit of a, um, a set to between Edison and uh, Mourinho. First in Portuguese, and then Mourinho started swearing at him in English. Right. And then it just kicked off, and then Lukaku lobbed the bottle at Arteta, huh. and all help, yeah. Uh, um, children. I don't know. I think Mourinho's got no cause to complain. I, um, I've been watching again the uh, the fouler by Herrera on Osamendi. How that was not a penalty, I do not know. Mm. Um, Guardiola, uh, Pep Guardiola saying like, you know, people said the Spanish style wouldn't work. Wait, here. you're talking about when Herrera jumped? Yeah. You think that was a penalty? Absolutely. It was a dive. It was a total dive. It was a penalty. Go way out with that. Penalty. No. Stone cold. No. No. What about the Liverpool one? That was a penalty. Yeah, it was yeah, a penalty. Okay, yeah, yeah. All the Liverpool fans are saying it wasn't a penalty. It's obviously a penalty, you know. Anyway. Uh, look, th- th- what I was thinking about the Man U match was that I don't think Jose Mourinho learns. I think he's, I think he's, he got to a, a, his, his peak in management and he doesn't, he's not continuing to evolve and learn like, say, Guardiola or like Klopp or like, like the top managers, they try and do. Okay, Klopp failed at the weekend, but. There's a lot of things that he could have learned from the Man City games against Southampton and West Ham, and he didn't. Like the way the way that Man City, the way that Man, Man United set up against Man City, I thought that was exactly how they would set up against Arsenal, and they got really lucky with those two early goals against Arsenal. And there was no luck yesterday because there's not that many mistakes in this Man City team. So they came up against a far better team and just reverted the type instead of like. Like, it's obvious that Man City have weaknesses, because Southampton and West Ham found them. Gal- uh, not Galatasaray, Gal- uh, Shakhtar, okay, they played a second string, but they found the weaknesses. And so there's three matches Mourinho could have learned from, and he didn't, didn't bother at all. He just went, no, I'm the bus. Arrogance. And it's cost him, because um, it's the biggest gap in the top five European leagues, mm. 11 points, and have Man City won the title now? Yeah, I think so. It could be. I mean, eleven points. I mean, it, yeah, we're what halfway through the season ish. Uh, it's been it's been done before. People have caught up with more. Before. But <laughs> this Man City side, fourteen straight wins, is mm. a record as well. Um, they're unbelievable, unbelievable mm. at the moment. Uh, and else from the Premier League, um, Benteke. <laughs> I, I, Benteke. Um, for those who who might have missed it, um, he missed the penalty. Uh, Swansea. Uh, sorry, Bournemouth drew two two with Palace. Palace had an injury time penalty. And Benteke wasn't supposed to take it. And I think he's desperate for a goal, so he just said, I'll take it. And took a weak penalty and it was saved. And the stupid thing was, is that Palace actually had a, a scored a penalty already in the game. Mm. Um, the Serbian lad, Mijovic, mm. he scored it. And afterwards, Hudson was like, yeah, he wasn't supposed to take penalty. You know? Completely unilateral decision. And, um, I don't, it, looked, it looked like he had a row with the supporters, yeah. I, I, I know what it's like. I think it's terrible uh, in some ways because I understand why Ben Teke took it. Yeah. Because you know he's he's desperate for a goal, but when when it's the difference, it really was the difference between three points and one. You you can't allow that need for a goal to um no. you, you can't. Um, I know another team that missed a penalty that cost points this weekend. It's my team. Hey. Um, we were actually lucky to be only one nil down at that point. We hadn't had we forced to keep into one save. 
and we had a penalty and the players didn't want it. Mm. Um, our normal pe- penalty taker, Lukas Jukovic, was off the field and Jeremy Boger ended up stand, uh, stepping up and bl- blasted it Chris Waddle style over nice. the bar. Nice. <laughs> but it's like, and, and afterwards, uh, afterwards, I'm, um, Bowling City's manager, Steve Carshall, he was saying, well, you know, no, you know, Boger, like, you've got to, you, ca- you can't blame him because he stepped up to take the penalty. And I'm scratching my head thinking, surely you've got, like, first penalty taker, second penalty taker, third penalty taker roles defined in the team. And there's no way we're missing, because Stephen Gleeson takes penalties and he's good at them. Mm. And he did look like Gleeson was saying something to Boger when he put the ball down. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. penalties are. Anyway, that's what happens. And, 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 and also in the Premier League, that, that caught your eye was that is. Swansea scored. Swansea scored. Mm. Who'd have thunk <clears> But West Bromwich Albion, poor side. Poor, poor side. And the Albion fans aren't happy. Mm. Um, because, you know, these are the games they need to get points from. Parage is not going to save them. No. Um, not at the moment. No. Um, not when West Ham are beating Chelsea. Mm. That's, that's for sure. Um, Newcastle lost the game as well. Um, they were unlucky though. Did you see the own goal? Yeah, it was unlucky. Uh-huh. It was unlucky, but you've got to wonder how long Rafa Benitez is going to stick around. Because, you yeah. know, you've got all the uncertainty over, uh, over the transfer window, over who owns the club. And I think if I was Rafa, I think the time to bail is now. Yeah. I wonder where he goes. He'd probably just take it off for Christmas, come back after January. You know? I wonder where he goes. Because if he goes now, his reputation is pretty much intact. Ah, of course, yeah. So it's uh, like, yeah. get out while the going's good. Yeah. That's what I think anyway. Exactly. Um, yeah, Syria was very disappointing. Uh, Juve and Inter with a nil-nil draw. Uh, Roma were away to Chievo. They could have had a chance. Uh, they blew it with nil-nil. And then yesterday, Napoli. Who were Napoli playing? Ah, Fiorentina. Uh, Napoli playing Fiorentina. And that also ended in nil-nil. So no one wants the Scudetto in Italy at all. Although Lazio are playing Torino tonight. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely back in Lazio. I haven't looked at the odds yet. And I'm going, I know I'm going to back Lazio yeah, because back Lazio. they've, they, they're in, they can jump over, they can go ahead of Roma in the table if they win this one. So they can jump up to third and, uh, yeah, they, against Torino, Torino are pretty muck away from home. Um, what's up coming this week? Uh, Reading Cardiff is tonight. Uh, Lazio Torino is tonight. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> did you look at the fixtures? It's an awful boring set of fixtures. We have Burnley Stoke, Huddersfield, Chelsea, Swansea, Man City, Newcastle, Everton, Southampton, Leicester, Man United, Bournemouth, Liverpool, West Brom, Spurs of Brighton. There isn't a single decent game in there, you know. I don't know. Um, Swansea, Man City could be uh, could be interesting. If, well, yeah, because uh, they could get them fired. You know, could be his last match for Swansea. Oh, uh, Newcastle, Everton. Big Sam going back to Newcastle where he was loved so dearly. <laughs> to be fair to Big Sam, um, I'm not sure I fucking know. Can, can, I, can I use the yes word? Which one? Yeah, I don't know actually. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, a friend of mine, uh, tweeted after the, uh, Merseyside, Merseyside Derby, Big Sam, <laughs> tears in his way, to success at Everton again. And I can't put it in an, any mm. other better way, because mm. that's what he does. And that's why Everton will be fine this season, because, uh, they, I, were, they were woeful, man. I watched it. It was a They were awful woeful, match. but they got a point. Yeah, they got a point, yeah. yeah. You know, and this Sam Foley, I, yeah. you know, I'm not a huge fan of him, but, they won't get down. They won't be in close no, to No, they're not going to go down. But it's but it was just typical Liverpool. It's the Liverpool of old, you know. Huff and puff and huff and puff and just nothing. Take off Mo Salah. He keeps taking off Mo Salah. I don't get that. And no. When you got Sadio Mane, like in like, like with three players and acres of space, and he just blasts it wide. Mm. You've got to be like, oh. Yeah. I saw someone on Reddit saying uh, Mane's just jealous of Salah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. Or um, what else? In, in, in the Bundesliga, they have an English week. They call it when they play during the week. Um, uh, Salzburg are away to Wolfsburg. They can close the gap on Bayern, who are at home to Cologne and Schalke. Are, are a couple of things from the Bundesliga this week, um, uh, this weekend. Cologne, 3 0 up and lost. Oh, nice. And Dortmund fired Peter Bosch. Yeah, he's gone. So he has to go, though. No Dutch managers in the Bundesliga now. Mm. Uh, I, I should know who they've hired, because they have hired someone, but I can't remember his name. But of Cologne, three 0 up and losing. It's shocking, all right. That's got to hurt. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Man United are home to Bournemouth. They'll have to get a win there. Um, Do you mind the first goal for Bournemouth? Did you see it? Yeah. The second one. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about what happened with him and Hodgson afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on, explain. So, for those who didn't hear, um, 
the uh, uh do you mind if I was walking past uh Hodge uh do you mind do you mind if I uh walked past uh Hodgson and he said something uh, they said something to him about score you're still scoring goals, do you mind? And do you mind turning around so you didn't pick me for the World Cup there? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, huh? I th- I think it was good natured banter, yeah. to be fair, and if you haven't seen it, do you mind if I was second against uh, Palace was an absolute cracker. He's still got it. Still got it. That's about time he scored, though. Yeah, uh, but, you know, it's, I think he'll come good. I think he'll be alright for them. Mm. You know, he's just started, Defoe's another striker who scores in patches. I think he's hit a patch. Cool. Alright, look, we'll leave it there. Uh, we'll be back this evening with an audio podcast where we'll look, uh, look a bit more in-depthly into the upcoming games. But from, uh, for me, Pro Tips to Paddy and Pro Tips to Dan. Good luck. Make sure and check out protips.com where you can earn real money by sharing your winning football tips. And subscribe to us here on YouTube. You'll get daily videos, tips, tips videos, previews, podcasts, strategy videos, and our new Combined 11 podcast on Wednesdays as well. All right. Take it easy then. Good luck.